Welcome to Onyx Backcountry's YouTube channel. Today we're going to dive into a key subject, how to read a topo map and not get lost. I get how topo maps can seem a little intimidating at first, all those lines, but once you gain an understanding of what those lines mean, you can become a better adventurer both with a paper map and using Onyx. So let's dive into both formats and see what we can learn. First, why a topo map? Well, they work anytime, any place, and they don't require batteries. It makes them a great backup to have in your backpack. And paired with a compass, you can basically determine wherever you are. So what do all those lines mean? Well, those lines are called contour lines and they represent the same elevation over a distance. When contour lines are spaced closer together, it means the terrain's steeper. When it's further apart, it means the terrain's flatter. Ridges can be defined by sharp turns within the contour lines. These V-shaped patterns that you'll see that will either represent a valley, which will be often noted by a blue line of a river running down the middle of it, or a ridge line, which usually builds up until you have a named peak or one complete contour circle. When these circles are really tight together, that basically is a mountain peak. If you're still confused, let's look at the same map in Onyx Backcountry and see how those contour lines can be brought to life. All right, so here we have the same map, but an onyx. Before we bring it to life in 3D, can zoom in and really see these further spaced contour lines on the south face and these steeper facing contour lines on the north face. Another tip, because all, a lot of topo maps are different. In the onyx version, we have green areas that are marking trees, whereas white areas are marking open slopes. Zooming around, we can see different valleys that are brought to life with these rivers that run along them, as well as ridge lines that are defined by these tighter contours and full contour line circles that mark high points or the top of actual peaks. If you're still having trouble grasping that, click on 3D. This turns the topo map into a 3D map and really brings those contoured lines to life. Here you can see different peaks, different valleys, and they become really obvious. If you toggle between 3D mode and 2D mode, you can really see how different terrain features pop out and kind of spring up to life. Now, hopefully, when you look back at the paper map, these lines mean something a little more than just ran random squiggles on a piece of paper. Obviously, the most important part of using any map is knowing where you are. Traditionally, with a topo map, that would involve orienting the map north, using major landmarks and a compass to triangulate where you are, basically drawing an X. With Onyx Backcountry, that's a little bit simpler. You have a blue dot that shows you exactly where you are. And if you double click, it'll show you the direction you're facing or heading. I call this headlight feature because if you're in a storm or in the dark, it's pretty handy to know which direction you're going. So with all that information in mind, here are some helpful tips for planning a route. When using a topo map to plan a route, there's a couple things you want to keep in mind. First, try to stick to ridges or valleys for easier navigation, which usually is safer terrain in terms of avalanches. Next, look at the contour lines and how closely they're spaced. Plan your route up more widely spaced contour lines just to allow for a more natural elevation rise and not to be epicking in overly steep terrain. Next, drop pins at notable landmarks to make sure you're on the right track and you're going where you think you should be heading. Finally, while Onyx Backcountry's route building tool measures distance, it's important to keep in mind elevation gain when trying to figure out how long any route might take you. There's a lot to understand when it comes to navigation, both with Topa Maps and Onyx Backcountry, but with a little practice, you can become far more comfortable with both and become a better adventurer overall. Thanks for checking this out. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, and we'll see you out there on your next adventure.